All right, I have here a Dyson 33 coming to me from the wild. Uh, we're going to measure it with the particle counter, and then we're going to look at the washable filters and see if they're intact. Consistency with that. I'm going to show you why. Um, uh, so, what happens is you have a plastic cover uh, that holds this HEPA filter down, and the way it sits in here, uh, you can see where the dust is escaping and not escaping. So basically what has happened is part of the gasket is gone and part of it is not. So on the side that is not, it blows clean air. On the side, of course, where it's blowing mostly off to the side, it's just escaping. Um, now these are meant to be washable. I guarantee you if you rinse this out with water, it's going to make it worse because the part uh, the hardness of the water is going to get stuck in here, uh, just make that worse. So I always recommend replacing that every six months or so. And of course, you're supposed to wash this other filter. Every time you vacuum, of course, that one is filthy. Um, I'm showing this to you as it comes to me uh, because that's the way most people end up running uh, their Dysons. I know there are a few people who actually follow our instructions and change and maintain their filters and clean out our canister, um, then yeah, they filter better. But this is usually how Dyson is when we see it. Again, I know this is an older model, but I haven't done a video on one, so I thought I would. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and definitely help us with that thumbs up button.